Hello dear students, uh, in the last class uh, uh, we discussed some of the general characters of algae. I know uh, you already gone through the uh, videos that I have uploaded in your uh, classrooms. So we studied the uh, general habitat, uh, thalus organization, hmm? uh, structure, uh, some uh, pigments, hmm? pyranoids, etc. Okay. So now uh, as part of your syllabus, you have to study the flagella. Locomotory organs in the group of algae. Okay, so this is a very small portion, but uh, questions may be usually arise from this module also. Okay, so let us go into the topic of flagella. So you know, uh, flagella is a uh, structure that helps in moving. So uh, in our first class, we studied algae may be motile or non-motile. So this structure is present in the motile forms of algae those algae that can move. So, movement is with the help of some hair like structures that is known as what? What? Flagella. Clear? So, it is a whip like structure that is present on the surface of the cell, outer part of the cell. Cell may be usually unicellular. Usually unicellular forms and colonial forms versus what? Flagella. So, it is occur on the surface of the cells. Okay? And in certain cases, it is also present in the uh, reproductive structures of the algae that is motile stages in uh, like spores. Certain spores that are the asexual reproductive part in the case of algae in that part also you can see the uh, flagella clear. So, it is a replay structure on the surface it is found in the motile stage of all classes of algae except in one or two cases that I will discuss ok. That is, it is absent in the group blue-green algae and red algae. That is, cyanophyceae and rhodophyceae. Two categories, this flagella is totally absent. Understood? Now, then the position where flagella is attached towards the anterior side or towards the posterior side. Clear? Or all over the body. So, that may vary in different groups. Okay? The number also, in some cases there is a single flagella, in certain cases two flagella, in some cases one flagella large, another flagella small, then some cases all over the body. So that may vary depending upon the type of algae and nature of flagella may also vary. Some flagella having smooth surface, some having some hair like structures, okay clear. So position, number and nature of flagella may vary. Then Flagella is usually inserted on the anterior side or lateral side, laterally, clear. Then it may be face upward or face downward, okay. So, position may be vary, number may be vary, nature vary or its inserted site may be anterior or lateral or usually on the uh, facing to upward or facing to downward. So, this is about the a brief introduction regarding alga regarding flagella in alga. So, it is a whip like structure, it is a motile uh, organ, uh, organ for motility, it is absent in red algae and blue green algae, position, number, nature, everything may vary in different groups. I hope you understood well, clear. Now, based on the presence or absence of hairs on flagella, I already told some flagella is smooth, some flagella having hairs. So, based on that, you can classify them into two groups. What are they? Acronymatic and pantonymatic. You can call it in other ways like uh, whiplash and tinsel flagella. Okay, acronymatic means very smooth, no hair on the surface. It is otherwise called a whiplash flagella. Clear? Now, pantonymatic means the flagella having hairs on its surface, and that hairs are called flimmers. And the type of flagella is called a tinsel, pantonymatic or tinsel, acronymatic or whiplash. Usually in the textbook it is written like whiplash and tinsel, smooth and haired ones. Clear? Now, this is a, uh, a, a structure, this is an alga, unicellular form. This is a spore, I already told in the life cycle of algae uh, during the asexual reproduction, you can see the spores. Clear? So, this is the motile spores. Motile spores are usually called zoo spores. Clear? So, this zoo spores having in this diagram, you can see two types of flagella. Clear? 
This is a smooth flagellum, very smooth without any hair. That is known as whiplash flagellum. I already told in the last slide. Clear? This is the flagellum having some hairs on its surface. That is known as what? Tinsel flagellum. Understood? Oh. Now, so they are the, actually they are the protoplasmic structures. They are the part of the cell. Protoplasmic thread like structures. In, they may be single or they may be in pair. Or they may be equal in size, they may be unequal in size. So, here you can see pair, two flagella. And here you can see two flagella but both are different. This is both are equal. So, that is isocont, equal. Here you can see both are different. That is what heterocont or unequal. One more classification, isocont or heterocont. What do you mean by isocont? Both flagella are equal. Here both flagella are whiplash. What about here? One flagellum is whiplash, other flagellum is tinsel. So that is what heterocont. Understood? Now, I already told blue green algae and red algae having no flagella. Understood? Green algae having isocond type, heterocond type. Isocond means whiplash uh, or only tinsel. Two or four in number. Heterocond means whiplash and tinsel. Clear? In Bacillariophysia group, that is in diatoms, uh, single tinsel flagellum is present. Okay. Then Xanthophysia group, you can see heterocond, whiplash and tinsel. Green algae, usually isocond group. Green algae, usually isocond. Xanthophysia, usually heterocond. Bacillariophysia, tinsel flagellum. Now, in blue green algae and red algae, there is no flagella. Uh, okay. So, what is, uh, what is flagella? What are the two types? based on the, uh, its texture, then what are the other two types based on its arrangement, equal and unequal, isocond and heterocond, clear, okay. Now, so cytologically, how uh, its structure, what, uh, what is its organization? Hmm? So, a flagella consists of an axoneme, it is known as an axoneme, when it, you will observe this under electron microscope. So, this is the algae. Uh, its outermost portion and this is the anterior side where you can attach the algae. This is an uh, electron microscopic view. You see uh, this is known as what axoneme clear and when you cut here you can uh, observe what are the how it is arranged inside. So, this is the uh, cross section you see what is present here. There is a central pair of microtubules and peripheral pair of microtubules. Clear? Two central microtubules and uh, nine peripheral micro. Nine means nine doublet or nine pairs. One pair, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine doublet. Okay? Each contain two microtubules. Nine doublet. Central two microtubules. So, this is the ultra structure. When you cut through the axoneme, you can see this structure. Clear? This is a cytological view. Um, th this is the structure of a chlamydia monas. You see, this is the flagella. So, what is this? While you cut from here, you see this portion, when you enlarge it, you will get like this. Okay? So, this is the axoneme, and this is, uh, it contains two central microtubules and peripheral, uh, again, uh, nine doublets of microtubules. So, microtubules and a Microfilaments are the uh, structures that give support to the cell. You know that. Hmm? Microtubules and microfilaments. So, in our muscle cells also it is present. So, here in the flagella and uh, in the case of cilia also there are microtubules. This is made up of some proteins known as tubulin proteins. Okay. So, this arrangement may vary. Here 9 doublet plus 2 at the center may vary in flagella as well as in cilia. Okay. So, in paramecium like organism, you know the locomotory organ is what? Cilia. Cilia help to move. Okay. But here in the algae flagella help to move. So, both condition you can see microtubules, but the arrangement may vary. Understood? So, here axoneme, this is the axoneme. When you cut open, you can see nine doublet of microtubule at the periphery and two microtubule at the center. Clear? Okay. Then this is the section, this is the axony. When you cut open, see what is present outside 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, doublet. And what is present at the center? One single inner micro 
tube. So, no need to study its ultra structure, just to understand what is uh, the ultra structure of flagella. Clear? So, uh, this is a very small session regarding flagella. I hope you understood well. In brief, what is flagella? What is the function of flagella? Hmm? Then, uh, how flagella is organized? Its number, position, everything may vary. In structure, you can see what two uh, categories in uh, arrangement equal size and equal size that are of two types, two groups. Then how it vary in different groups of algae, blue green algae, red algae, no flagella, what about in other groups, then what is the um, cellular organization, what about microtubules, how it is arranged. Okay? So, very small portion but very very important for examination. I hope you understood well. Uh, thank you very much.